right, welcome back to the Innovation YouTube channel. This week, we're going to talk about a PoE splitter. As we know, PoE brings host advantages to the table. It simplifies your wiring and reduces installation costs and offers unparalleled flexibility in device placement. But these benefits are only and exclusively for the PoE compatible devices. But what happens when your network includes non-PoE devices with different alternative power level requirements like 12 voltage and even 24 voltage instead of 48 voltage standard PoE output? That's where PoE splitter comes into the play. A PoE splitter is a device that splits the power and data coming over an Ethernet cable and separates them into two streams, power and data and allowing non-PoE devices to still benefit from the power source supplied over the PoE. And this is useful in scenarios where you know, the non-PoE devices with no AC outlets nearby. And furthermore, to cover the issue that we mentioned above, use PoE to power up different level requirements in the non-PoE devices, 12 voltage and 24 voltage, and even 24 voltage of PoE devices. To use a specialized PoE splitter, which stands out with the ability to output either 12 voltage or 24 voltage, and even 24 voltage PoE output, catering to diverse range of device requirements. This product supports hot switchable DC 12 voltage or DC 24 voltage power to non-PoE devices, and can provide PoE 24 voltage to 24 voltage PoE devices such as wireless AP and wireless bridge. It can deliver 24 voltage PoE output when used with a PoE 24 voltage adapter, which is included in the pack. It supports 10, 100, and 1000 megabits per second of transmission speed with a maximum transmission distance of 100 meters. The splitter provides both DC connector and a green terminal for power output with a maximum power output of 25 watts. The industrial design includes a wide voltage input range of 36 to 60 voltage, a working temperature range of minus 40 Celsius to 75 Celsius, 6 kV lightning protection, and level 3 ESD protection. Easy installation with warm-up bracket. Now let's move on to testing session. And today we're gonna to demonstrate that how to use Linovation uh, switchable 12 voltage to 24 voltage PoE splitter to power up all these non-PoE devices with 12 voltage and 24 voltage and PoE devices, 24 voltage requirements. All right, so I'm gonna introduce the end devices a little bit because all these three devices are representing the three different scenarios. And first one, this is Innovation 4G router, and this is a non-PoE device, and it requires 12 voltage input. And this one is also the router, and it requires 24 voltage, and this is a non-PoE device. This is a PoE device, requires 24 voltage PoE device, and this is a wireless bridge. And in between is a PoE splitter features 12 voltage and 24 voltage switchable, hot switchable. And this one is stick on the wall. I'm gonna use this one to give you more detailed, detailed shot. And this is a PoE import and data out, and it offers a two DC out. And on the back panel is a voltage switch. You can switch to 12 voltage as well as 24 voltage. All right. Okay. And this is today's power source device. This is a PoE switch. All right. So next we're gonna connect all these three devices individually to test out how to use this innovation features 12 voltage and 24 voltage PoE splitter to power up these devices. And then next, we're gonna start it from the first device. It's a non-PoE device in the 4G router with 12 voltage 
powering. All right, so let's start from this way. First, we'll connect the PoE switch to PoE splitter. This is PoE port plugging this port, right? You can see that the power on already. And the next, we're gonna connect. Next, we're gonna connect this non-PoE device. I use this port to connect it to the DC output port terminal here. But before we do that, be aware, we have to turn this voltage switch to 12 voltage mode. Since this device will be connected is 12 voltage requirements, right? Turn to this mode. Then connect this terminal right here. Okay. So let's see. The 4G router gets started work. All right, this is the first test. And next, we're gonna test out to power up this non-PoE router with 24 voltage input, all right? The same with use this terminal interface. And before we do that, make sure this switch is in 24 voltage mode. And then we connect this kernel to the PoE splitter. As you can see, the power is on. All right, so this is the second device. All right, so now let's do the last one. In differentiated from the previous two devices, these are the non-PoE devices, right? The last one is a PoE device. As you can see, the uh, Ethernet quartz. That requires 24 voltage power. And we're gonna use the Ethernet cable to connect. Since, you know, the PoE splitter doesn't have that PoE output port, so what we're gonna do is use this accessory, which is included in the pack. This is a 24 voltage PoE adapter. And as you can see here, the interface, this one is a PoE port, and definitely we can use this to connect to the device, to the device side. And on the opposite side is DC connector and the data connector. Now let's connect the 24 voltage PoE device to this splitter. All right, so now let's connect it in the PoE side to the device. And this is DC port, connect here. And this data port connect to the splitter, the data out. All right, so this is all well connected. And as you can see here, already powered on. This is a PoE device with 24 voltage power.